Hi, YouTube. This is Jen, your pudgy picker. I have another garage sale haul. I went garage sailing today. I hit about 20 or 22 sales. Um, I had one yesterday when I was getting my list ready. It started on a Wednesday. So I went to the went to the sale yesterday. Uh, I got a bag full of stuff. Um, did really well. Got it for five bucks. I'll show you what I got. But I also saw a TV and it was a smaller size, one of the heavier ones. So I asked the lady how much it was and she said, oh, well, you could just have it. So I was like, uh, does it work? She said, oh, yeah. She said, but it's one of the real heavy ones, the old ones. Nobody wants those anymore. And if it wasn't going to sell in the next couple hours, I was going to put it out on the curb anyway. So I was like, yeah, I'll take it. So I brought it home, plugged it in, plugged in the, you know, the cable, and it worked really good. Um, everybody looked like Oompa Loompas, but my husband did a little tweaking and got the color right, had a remote. So I got a TV for free. I was so happy. So I got a TV and a whole bunch of stuff for five bucks. So I knew it was good when I pulled up and saw two women sitting there with a glass of wine. I was like... I see a deal in my future. So that was yesterday's. I'll show you what I got there. I got a couple of books and a couple of frames. It's funny because it came to like eight or nine dollars and she looked at me and just gave me five. And I was like, yes. So let me show you what I got. Um, first things I'm going to show you, I got at a craft store. They were in the clearance area. Usually I glance at this stuff, but unless it's really low, because you know my rule is if I can't double the price, I'm not going to sell it. It's not worth my time. But I did get these. These were only a dollar each, and they're big clothespins. They were a dollar each, four on them. Um, I'm probably going to print like a little picture or something so I can maybe put the picture so it'll be like a display. So maybe people will understand or get an idea what you can use them for. So I put $4 on those. At the same store, I got some retro uh, 80s buttons. These were 40 cents a pack. I got three of each kind. Um, one is like the Space Invaders. And the other one says Rock Band. It has a cassette tape and guitars and boom box. So I got those two. So I got three of these and three of these. And I put two and a quarter on them. Um, I'm wondering if that's a little low. I might just go a little higher on those. Um, these <clears throat> salt and pepper shakers that look like little owls. Um, these were, I think, two and a quarter on clearance. So I put $5.75. I got two sets of these, so they should do okay. So that's what I got at the craft store. Now, garage sale in today, I got, <clears throat> this is something I always pick up. And if you're a reseller, you should probably get these whenever you see them. It had four in it. They're night light, light bulbs. I already took one out because I'm always buying things that light up. You know, they have the little rolly switch. It's, you know, I've sold little uh, lighthouses and uh, some of the, you know, the seasonal houses, you know, they have like snow on the roof that people like to set up a display. <clears throat> so I'm always looking for these. These were a quarter, brand new, still in the container. So that's good because it's something I'll use, and I've already used one. So um, another interesting thing I got is this is a leaf, and it's the metal, but it's uh, it's got little knobs on it so it can sit on a table, but it also has a hook so you can hang it up. And anything that's metal, that's a wall hanging, I always seem to do really well on. So I was thinking it's kind of seasonal, maybe fall. I might take it out and hang it up and see how it does. So that was only 50 cents. So I'm probably going to put 5 or $6 on it. Um, I got this. It's a little strawberry. It's a little like sugar bowl or container. Uh, I think he said dollar, and I talked him down to 50 cents on it because I bought some other stuff. That's another good thing to do is when you're garage selling is to bundle, as me and my sister call it. You know, pick up a couple different things and then offer one price for all of it. They're less likely to say no because it's not one item. 
and if you're getting a whole bunch of stuff then they'll see yeah go ahead so um, I got that for 50 cents I found this antique book at a garage sale for 50 cents um, I just like the look at look of it it's really cute I'm gonna look this up on eBay and see if anybody's selling them on there I looked at the date in here 1885 so this is like 130 years old can you imagine but it is a beautiful little book so 50 cents can't help but make money on that I don't buy these all day long no problem with those um, talking about those little light bulbs I used one on this um, and it's a rose and when you turn it on it lights up the rose so I thought that was nice two dollars probably put six or seven on it um, I got this little frog on a lily pad I think it's it is definitely older it doesn't have any markings on it but I paid 50 cents for this too and usually whenever I find containers like this um, I hang on to a couple and then we live near uh, Cleveland Ohio so they have a really nice Asian market and Asian store in downtown Cleveland and they sell bamboo they have buckets and buckets all sizes shapes some curly some straight and they're a really reasonable price so whenever I get two or three of these cute little containers I'll go up and buy two or three just stand it up in there pour a little bit of the, the rocks in there and fill it up with water don't if you have one don't use tap water because it's got chemicals and stuff use either purified water or bottled water so if I have several of these in my booth I have a bottle of water and I just put it up on a shelf out of the way and then once a week when I'm there I just refill it I'm not by a window there so they do pretty good you know in low light situation or artificial light so and if I put two bamboos in here I can sell it for probably six bucks so I like that one <clears throat> I do sell jewelry and earrings in my booth so whenever I can find any new I always pick them up I sell mine for $3.99 these were at a garage sale for a quarter each new still in the package so I got those I also got for 50 cents this Japanese sandal I'm probably gonna do something where I can hang it up I want to do it where I'm not gonna you know put anything or drill a hole or anything in it has uh, some Chinese write or Japanese writing on the back and it says 1907 so this is old so 50 cents in fact I took it up to the lady when I was paying and it was a garage sale where several people were participating because she looked at it and says I have no idea what that is <laughs> so I had to tell her what it is um, I also got for my daughter uh, this cute little uh, chubby Japanese kitten and it's a bank so I got this for 50 cents for her but she wanted me to show it to you um, I got this really neat hand carved uh, walking stick or cane I guess you could call it and this was two dollars it's really really neat looking piece I always do really well on canes they don't have to be old or intricate or fancy or anything even just regular ones I always sell them um, so this one was two so I'm not sure how much I want to put on this one but I'm guessing I could put maybe 10 on it 10 or 12 and it'll go <clears throat> so I got that I also got keys <laughs> um, uh, these were at a garage sale um, and I said oh are these your keys or are they for sale he goes oh no those are for sale so I have a couple ideas for you know I'm always crafting um, I saw an idea where it had a little piece of wood and it had these drilled onto the wood and then you had bent the key up to make like a little key holder isn't that cute so I'm probably gonna try that with these so it was 50 cents for all these keys so I thought that was a good deal um, you know it's funny when you garage sale a lot you see some crazy collections you know people collect a lot of different types of animals or you know angels or any of that stuff but this one was really funny when I pulled up and saw a whole table of 
outhouses. <laughs> These are resin, so they're not real expensive. I paid a dollar each. I put three on them. They are really, really cute. And this one has, if you look under the door, there's two shoes there. So there's somebody in that one. And that one's got a little moon on the door. So I thought those were cute. And another item I found there at the same garage sale was this one that has the light in it. So you turn it on and you've got lights through the moon on the door and the windows on the side. Isn't that cute? I paid $3 for this one. I put 10 on it. And I do have electricity in my booth. Um, not all booths uh, at the Antique Mall do. Um, so I'm very fortunate that if I have a lamp or something that plugs in, uh, I think it sells quicker when something's turned on. So that will definitely go. Um, I also had this lamp that I got a while ago. I paid $2 for it, and then it didn't have a lamp shade. So I was looking around for a lamp. I ended up getting this one for like another $2. And they match, so I will put probably 10 or 12 on this and take it out. Um, I got a few more pieces of fabric. Um, you know how I am with jewelry trees. I seem to do pretty good on them. This one was especially cute. This one was at a garage sale for $4. And I told the lady I would do $3 on it. And she said, yeah, why not? So I just thought that was adorable with the poofy skirt. Um, I got this antique little car that's a planter. Uh, for a dollar. I'm probably just going to take it out and see if it sells like it is. Um, if it's there for a little while, maybe I'll bring it home and put like a little spider plant or something in there. But I figure I could get like five, six bucks out of that, even as it is. So we'll see. Um, I also got these uh, cute little frames. There's a set of three of them. They're all the same and then they have a ribbon to hang them up. Um, I paid three dollars for the set of three. I don't know if I'm going to sell them together or sell them individually. I haven't really decided yet, but they are very cute. They're that shabby chic kind of style, so I think those should do pretty good. Um, I don't think I mentioned this yet. This is a seasonal item I'll put away in my winter in my winter stash, and it's for a tea light. And then the shade has little cutouts of snowflakes. I paid fifty cents for this. I'll probably put four or five on it and then stash it away until winter time. And I hopefully that will do good. Snowmen seem to do really good. My sister loves snowmen. So whenever I get, bring anything out, she goes, oh, and I go, no, we're not taking it home. You don't have enough room for it. So I think that's most everything on my table. Um, I'm always looking for bags and things that are easy to put all this stuff in when I take it out to my antique mall. So I got this. It still had the tags on it. It was 75 cents. It's just one of those like beach bags. So I got that. I'm going to use that. Another item I got um, <clears throat> wasn't sure how much it was. I hate when you go to garage sales and nothing is priced. Because it's if it's at the end of the day and you're tired, you're just like, ugh. Oh. And then especially if you say, oh, how much is this? And the person goes, it's this amount, or it's $2. Or... I just feel like saying, if you don't want people asking, then price your stuff. Because that drives me crazy. But anyway, this was $3. It's like a galvanized steel. And it has the glass in it. It's like a little terrarium greenhouse. It doesn't have a bottom in it, so you could like set it over something if you wanted. Um, he said... Uh, I'll sell it to you for $3 because one of the glass is busted. And it was one of these on the side. So one had glass, the other one didn't. So what I did is I went ahead and took the other side out. And I figure if you're going to use this over a real live plant, you're going to need the air circulation anyway. So if you take both sides out, then it looks like it's intentional. So I don't know how much I'm going to put on this yet. I'm probably going to put at least $12 on it. But I got it for three, so that was a good price. It's very heavy. Um, uh, the other items I got, I do well sometimes on these, sometimes well, sometimes not. But these were just too cute to pass up. These are vintage aprons. Um, these are, I, for the most part, I can tell they are hand done. Um, 
here's the first one. This one actually looks like a little girl's. And then it's got the pockets. But it is just so cute. The fabric, you can tell, is vintage. So, and I'll tell you how much I paid when I show them all to you. Then you got this one, and it's got a little pocket. And then you got this one, which has two pockets. These were a quarter each. You know, it's funny because when I went up there and I set it down, and I said, oh, I just love the old aprons. And she said, did you come to our garage sale last fall? And I said, oh, uh, she said, I had a whole bunch of aprons and somebody bought them all at once. And I go, you know what? That was probably me. <laughs> so even if I put five or six on each of them and only hit a quarter, that's a deal. So that's not a problem at all. So I was very happy with those. Um, the other couple of items, this, I'm not sure how this is gonna do. Picnic baskets, fancy little boxes you can store stuff. They do okay. This one, I only paid $2 for. So I thought, well, I don't think it should do too bad. So it's got the little latch hook there, and it's got the ribbon, so it only opens so far. So I don't think I'm going to make a billion dollars on this, but $2, I figure it was worth the effort. So we'll see. So it's kind of, it's got the bamboo handles. You know what's funny, talking about taking that glass out of that little greenhouse. This has like a bamboo around here, and then it had a bamboo uh covering the seam on just one side and i'm like i didn't really look at it real close when i got it and i'm like there's only one of those left so i went busted it off now it's uniform so you got to do that because then people look at it and go oh i guess it's supposed to be that way so i'll have to think about that one see what i'm gonna put on there i i have no idea how old this next piece is but I got it for $5, and it's pink and white, so somebody may want to repaint it. I don't have a lot of time or patience for refinishing stuff, so I'll sell it low enough where someone will make a project out of it. It is like a magazine rack. Isn't that cute? So I paid $5 for this, and it is, it's very detailed. It is very cute. It's got little carved out like circles and such. It's got a few nicks in it where you can tell it was originally a dark wood. But I probably put maybe 12 or 14. You know what? It's got a date on it. I didn't even notice that. Look at that. It says Butler, style number 855-1942. Well, there you go. I didn't even notice that until I held it up to show you and I was like, hey. So there you go, 1942. So it is an older piece, not necessarily an antique, but that should do pretty good. I, I did like it, it was very, very cute. Um, the last few items, I got this sign. Uh, it was at a, it was, this was actually at a Goodwill for $3 and it says dream. So I put $12 on it. Any of the words, dream, family, home, love, laugh, any of those I seem to do pretty good on. Um, I even had one, I think, that said spring and had like polka dots on it. I sold that, you know, this spring. So people love the letters. So um, I got a few uh, decorating books. Uh, one is Color Your Home, and the other one is Decorating Ideas Under $50. So I looked through those. Those were cute. So these should do pretty good. I paid, this was part of the stuff I got for $5 where I got the TV. So I put $4.50 on this one and $4.50 on that one. Um, I also found these at a Goodwill. I, I seem to do good on the keys, too. This is like a foot long key. Isn't that cute? So I figure you could hang that up or anything. It was, uh, I think this one was $4 at uh, Goodwill. I put 10 on it. It, it should do fine out there. Um, the other one, uh, I kind of had to look at it to figure out what it was. And it is a key, but it it's a door knocker. 
So isn't that unique? So I figure even if you just hang it up or even just take the key part off, it'll still be something to look at. So I got that one for two. I put six on it. Um, I got this. It's so cute. This was at the garage sale too with the TV. Um, it says cruising and it is a motor. It's got a picture of somebody riding on a motorcycle. So I thought that'll do well. Um, I put five dollars on it. Uh, this, I got this really cheap. You know, at Goodwill, they have two different, two different price, uh, colors for the week. One is half, one is just a dollar. This was like eight dollars, and it was a dollar because of the tag that it was. So, I'm kind of dirty from handling all this stuff today, but let me take this out. Isn't she beautiful? And she's got a little train and, and a veil. Isn't that gorgeous? So I paid a dollar for this. I put eight dollars on her, but I just thought she's so pretty. And her hair is is really is really done up real nice. It's very cute. So I'm I'm sure somebody will will enjoy that. But couldn't beat the price. Still in the box. So I'm probably gonna just dis just display it in the box. We'll see how it goes. But I got that for a dollar. And then I got a CD. I do sell CDs at my booth. I gotta find a better way to display them because they don't seem to do really well. I have like four bucks on them. This is a actually a two CD set. Uh, it's called Blessed Sl uh, Slumber and it's music, two CDs for um, helping your baby go to sleep. Still in the package. I got this I think for a quarter. Uh, so I put four on that. This was like the coolest thing I got at this garage sale. And it took me a minute to figure out what it was. Now, obviously, it looks like one of those old, um, one of the old gas, uh, what do you call them? Like the gas station pumps. And it has this cute little pump. But what this is, is you open it up. And you pour alcohol in there, and then you put the lid on, and then you dispense it. Isn't that funny? I saw that and thought, even if somebody doesn't put, you know, use it for that, it'll be a nice little display piece. Because the top, if you notice, it's got a little whiskey uh, bottle or a little whiskey jar, and it says fill her up on it. Isn't that cute? So I figure even for just display purposes that it should do well. So it's plastic, it's not anything really expensive. Some of it's metal, but I figure for the nostalgia somebody will, you know, get a kick out of that. So how much did I put on that one? Uh, I put 12 on it. So we'll see how it does. It'd, be going, it'd go nice in a man cave for sure. So I believe that is all that I got this week. I actually uh, have a few more garage sales to go to tomorrow, but in the morning, I'm gonna get all this stuff priced and take it out to my booth. Um, I tell you, it's, <laughs> with all the inventory I'm bringing in, I pull up, I have my cart with all my stuff in it, and I stand there and go, how is this all gonna fit? So last week it was kinda like stuffing 10 pounds in a five pound sack. But, you know, and plus you don't want it to look too, you know, busy, crowded. But, you know, I mean, it's prime real estate. You're paying for a small amount of space and you really want to maximize it and fill it up, you know. So I will price this stuff and take it out tomorrow. Then I'm going to hit a few more garage sales. If I find anything good, I will definitely make another video to show you. And I will see you next time. Uh, this is Jenny, your pudgy picker. Give me thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Uh, subscribe. And keep watching. I'll keep them coming now that garage sale's uh, in full swing now. So happy picking, and I will see you next time. Bye.